Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today is the Masterpiece Megatron from Beast Wars. Oh, y'all, um, y'all voted on the, the Uniqlo kits. Huh. Alright, I, I guess we're doing an unboxing. Okay. Hello YouTube's Krosama. And um, I'm gonna do some unboxing on some some kits and, and not Megatron. All right, guys, uh, just playing. Uh, so to be serious, um, I I did get these kits from the Unico kind of like um, campaign that they had over here in Japan. So you bought two T-shirts and you get one of these kits for free. You can choose actually which one you wanted. So I actually had five of them because I bought ten shirts in total, and then I got five of these kits. So. I decided I want to review two of these, but the RX-78-2 is going to go to a buddy of mine, whereas the Zaku-2 as a built kit, I don't know what I want to do with that at all. Uh, might actually give it a one of y'all, who knows. So I'm just going to do an unboxing. I'm going to build these up fairly quickly so I can get the review out there. And I know people, are, I guess, been really wondering about these kids. I've been seeing on a lot of different people's channels um, and they're like, hey, you know, review this kit or, you know, review the Unico. Gundam, so on and so forth. So, hey, let's just get into the unboxing. So just looking at the box, you know, we'll start off with the RX-78-2. Uh, it's going to be both the same. It's just the only difference is you're going to see a Gundam and the other one's going to be a Zaku. And then just the lettering for the actual description of whatever model is in here. But yeah, so not for sale. These are actually campaign only. But you're obviously going to have some scalpers online trying to get a quick buck. And honestly, guys, I, I don't think it's really worth it, but I I'll show you why. So taking a look at Runner A, the first thing you are going to notice is that this is very old. Uh, 2001 is the release date for this original kit, and you're just going to see just, man, it's pretty damn old. But it's not like it's bad. I'm just saying, I'm not using old as a bad term. I'm just using old as you're probably going to put some work into it if you're going to, for whatever reason, decide to paint or detail this kit up. Uh, if you are deciding to paint this kit, you might as well buy the original and just paint that these colors. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be paying an arm and a leg for this particular kit. Uh, but regardless, you are going to have you know a big chunk of the chest, back. You're going to have some of that feed. Now, the beam sabers are clear, uh, so that actually makes me pretty happy. It's you know that little nice uh, pink effect part. You know, normally you get a lot of older kits that are a solid white piece, but you know this one they they, they hook you up. So that's it for runner A. And runner B is going to be a solid, just red, very, very bright red, to be honest. And I think it looks really good. Um, you know, I, I would just say if you are going to paint at least some details into it, you, you know, you might have a little masking you have to do, especially around this area. So you're going to probably have the mask over here, paint all this, um, probably just paint some parts, you know, down here. But, you know, I think regardless, this is going to look pretty damn good, uh, all built up. Maybe he's going to lack a lot of articulation. I haven't built this. Uh, particular model before but you know regardless I think it looks pretty damn cool and the last runner is gonna be runner C so this is going to be all white the white is actually pretty damn bright so I'm looking I don't know, I'm just kind of looking at it and it, it just it's a different tone of white so whenever I actually get this kit built up I want to compare the white with some other kits but yeah the white here looks very different so I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with it it's gonna give you a good blank canvas uh, so if you want to paint some details maybe on the rifle or something because an all, all white rifle was gonna look pretty damn weird but you are gonna have the hands and I'm pretty sure this originally came in like maybe black or gray uh, just kind of assuming but yeah it looks pretty damn good you're gonna get very few stickers actually so that's pretty unique but basically stickers for the eyes and then it's gonna be for the cameras and a sticker sheet just for all the Uniqlo stuff so you got you know, Gumpla right here, Uniqlo. I actually really like these stickers. They're <laughs> pretty damn cool. Uh, then you also got like number stickers, which I, I'm not going to use. But the Uniqlo stuff is actually pretty cool. So I'll probably use that for this kit. And lastly is going to be the manual. So you got some color in there, but you know, very, very short manual. Not really too much to see here. And then you are also going to have some action poses, which eh, eh, very lackluster. Uh, and then the markings is just going to show you some example markings. So obviously you can do it up however you want, but they're just going to show you some examples of where to put those stickers at. So that's it for this one. Let's move on to the Zaku. All right, so once again, this is the same thing, Zaku 2, uh, but it's just going to have, you know, obviously the lettering and then the Zaku on the side. 
And here we are on runner A for the Zaku. So everything looks good. You, you have all your pipings and everything down here. Uh, then you're just gonna have some side skirts. You got your, you know, feet down here, uh, which can, you could definitely paint those thrusts a pretty nice color. Uh, you're gonna have the main body right there. You got the backpack and just some more right over here. So uh, that's pretty much it on this. Runner B is gonna be that nice white we've seen before. And you are gonna get, you know, basically these legs, which, you know, look, they look pretty good. I like the little, you know, smoothness of them. Uh, you got some more legs right here. You got the shield, head. Uh, yeah, just various parts. You know, these legs, they're definitely not promising uh, in terms of articulation, just looking at it right now. But yeah, I haven't really built many Zakus, so this is probably gonna be like my maybe third Zaku I've ever built. And, and this is like totaling all grades. I think I've only built like two Zakus in my life or three, not including Doms. And Runner C is going to be all red, so instead of that white uh, beam rifle like this, uh, the Gundam has, you're actually getting this nice red one, so that's pretty vibrant, and you could definitely, man, just paint some details in this if you ever get the regular kit. Uh, that's something I really love to do is just painting all those details, so uh, we'll see how I'm feeling whenever I'm, I'm starting to build this. I might just get inspired and start painting all the details into this, or I might just leave it plain so that way I can see a good example, but yeah, this is Runner C. A single white sticker for the Mono Eye. And a marking sheet for the Zaku, which is going to have essentially the same stuff, but you're going to have the little Xeon symbols uh, right there. And lastly is going to be the manual, so you know, get your little color right there, nothing very enticing on the inside. And then over here looking at the poses, those look, yeah, those look pretty good. I actually don't mind that, you put them on a little stand, he's going to look pretty good. And then obviously some examples of these marking placements. but. Other than that, guys, uh, I'm going to get started on this kit. I should have it done, you know, by tomorrow. Uh, but I am going to be doing a different video tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. I'm probably not going to get this review out until Monday. Maybe at the latest Tuesday. Just really depending. But regardless, guys, definitely appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, you know, y'all are the ones who voted for this. So I uh, hope you did uh, choose the right video. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video, whatever that may be. So see you guys later. Bye-bye.